Namaste beautiful yogis. Today I have a continuation of my how I became vegan uh, video with the follow-up of benefits of experience from since I became vegan and I've been watching I watched a few videos on YouTube called seven benefits on a vegan diet or something like that there was a few different uh, types of videos and uh, I tried to keep it to seven, but the benefits are far too many. Uh, well, I'm summarizing everything, but it will be more than seven benefits. So the benefits I'm discussing are actually the benefits of going from vegetarian to vegan, uh, which I experienced really, really great benefits from the switch vegetarian to vegan. I'll get started uh, without too much introduction with the video, uh, number one effect. Uh, I started loving food far more than I used to like food. As a kid, I didn't care for fo food too, too much. Um, my mom used to make a lot of cakes. And although I wasn't, I don't think I would have requested them or they were my favorite food or anything like that. I liked them and I enjoyed them. Who doesn't like homemade chocolate grenache cake or walnut um cake with uh, frosting and stuff like that it's really she she was an exquisite baker and uh, she made good cakes she made good food but it wasn't vegetarian it was high in vegetables and fruits but it wasn't vegan so i don't remember any excitement that i had about food all i cared is to play and food was just kind of like a chore when i became vegan i feel that my palate changed, my taste buds cleared, I experienced so much more taste and flavor, flavor in food uh, that I actually started enjoying food way more. I really can find such immense joy or pleasure uh, or taste in something that some people may find to be boring. Uh, for example, if we compare the finest French uh, desserts with a fresh fig from a tree it will take me zero seconds to decide which one i'm gonna go for it fig to me it's the, the top of the line most beautiful food ever so i experienced um, basically uh, my taste buds changed and i started appreciating food way more my flavor my palate opened up and I think I experienced more pleasure uh, from food than most people around me because I literally go crazy about certain, certain fruits and vegetables. Also, another benefit is my diet is very easy, it's very effortless, and it takes no planning. All I do is I make sure that there is uh, plenty of fresh fruit and vegetables in my fridge and whenever I get hungry without planning or anything, I can open the fridge and either grab some fresh fruit or I can or I can make a smoothie with something frozen or I can quickly whip up a dip creamy beautiful dip and dip raw vegetables or frozen steamed vegetables in the dip and it's just amazing I've become a good master in creating dips they're easy, nutritious, delicious. I share a lot of them on my website. So jump over to my website if you're curious to see how I eat. But dips are, you know, the way to save a vegan diet or to make it easy and nutritious. And you can basically decide what you want to eat last minute. It takes very little planning. So I love that. Easy. Uh, benefit number two strong immunity uh, and no colds. I wrote them down so that I don't forget anything because knowing me, I'll, I will probably forget half the stuff <laughs> going on a rant about something else. So um, a strong immunity, um, I, even when I uh, went vegetarian, I experienced great uh, benefits, but when I went vegan, no colds, no flu, no respiratory infections, even when they're like floating around me, it's just, I don't tend to um, catch them. It's obviously possible, everything, anything is possible, but it seems that it is greatly reducing the number of flus that I go through. So that's a great benefit, just kind of feeling that strong immunity and not worrying about it when you're around um, a lot of people. Number three, strong energy to work out. Definitely a vegan diet has given me um, a very uh, strong desire to work out. 
to move uh, to move my body, to uh, basically be active, to be athletic, to enjoy uh, physical activity. Uh, there is just a desire bubbling out. So um, I don't think my desire to work out was that big on a vegetarian diet. I wasn't involved in any sports. Uh, then when I became vegan, uh, definitely I became um, much more athletic. I'm sure some of it is mental. Uh, a lot of our athletic power is mental. That's a train, you can hear it. Uh, I will add to this point fast recovery. Uh, basically, I don't get sore muscles anymore. Maybe once a year if I do something real crazy and I don't eat immediately after. I would uh, get sore muscles, but it's so rare and the recovery after that, after I started eating my raw meals, is just very quick. So, uh, fast recovery and very strong energy. <sighs> Better body, body awareness, connection to your body, desire to move it. Um, just the benefits are amazing and we are creatures that are meant to move. We're not supposed to be sedentary all the time, we should use all our capacity to move. Uh, so I feel that a vegan diet makes you so light and energetic that it, is, it inspires that. Um, next issue is female issues. Now that will apply to men as well because we uh, have things in our system that can parallel each other, not completely, but say incidence of breast cancer do parallel the incidence of prostate cancer statistically or uh, what triggers them, dietary and so forth. So there is parallels between male and female, so that would apply to males to some degree as well. Obviously not in the same way, uh, but less PMS symptoms, less cramping, very little bleeding. Um, now for some uh, females I have uh, a lot of friends who experience cysts, fibroids, uh, God forbid, the more dangerous cancers of the reproductive system and so forth, and a lot of them do love their dairy. Uh, I feel it is a brainless thing to give up because you are gaining so much health from, uh, from just giving up um, a few things that once you clear your palate from, you're not even going to crave. So uh, definitely before I went vegan, I had really painful uh, periods with a very heavy um, PMS, cramping, uh, also irregular. Uh, after I went vegan, things just took a while. Healing takes a while. Don't expect anything overnight, not even in a year. Give it time, give it time because your body has been through um, certain um, level of um, toxicity and if you have had certain disease for a while it takes time for the body to heal to readjust uh, to recover but it does it will get there uh, I used to deal with heavy cramping um, just uh, really the cramps were ridiculous and irregular periods and so forth and all that cleared very light bleeding uh, very light periods and uh, you could definitely, uh, we're uh, emotional beings, you could definitely have one uh, period here and there that is not as good, even on a vegan diet, because there is no perfect diet. It's just there is, I consider uh, a plant-based high in fresh fruits and vegetables diet to be optimal for most of us or um, optimal. Uh, but that doesn't mean that it will alleviate all your suffering or all the suffering in the world. It will just uh, be the best we can do. That's uh, my take on it. So, of course, you can have a bad period once in a while or something like this if you're under a lot of stress, you ate a lot of fat or something like this. But overall, uh, the change is huge. Next, five, uh, body weight, weight loss. Uh, stretch marks, skin tone, um, cellulite issues, those things tend to improve on a vegan diet. Now I have to say that when I say vegan, I do mean a diet that is very high in fresh fruits and vegetables. I do eat a lot of raw. If it's especially in summer, it's probably 90% of my food is raw. Not because I have to have it raw, it's because that's 
my taste buds have switched to that. I do prefer that. Uh, so if there is fresh fruits, I will gravitate towards them. I will, in watermelon season, I would crave watermelon for lunch. In strawberry season, I would want strawberries and so forth. So you will adjust to a healthy eating lifestyle and it will be what you want. There is great satiety on that diet. You will just feel nourished. You, you will feel that you're nourishing your body with all the foods that you're putting in your body, high in antioxidants, vitamins, minerals. Um, so it's much easier to control your body weight on a, uh, on a vegan diet because the diet is high in nutrients, but it's also high in water. So uh, it's not as calorically dense as safe fried or uh, animal uh, products. So you are going to feed your body with real nutrition and just the satiety is quite a bit different. Um, I do find it that eating and possibly a lot of the citruses, oranges and so forth, they will give your uh, skin a better tone. Um, so basically if you lose a lot of weight and so forth, you are going to experience less saggy skin or your skin will start getting there, toning up and so forth because you are nourishing your skin. The food is definitely nourishing your skin. And um, cellulite, yeah, I used to have a lot of cellulite as a teenager and now that I'm 37 years old, I have much less cellulite and usually should be the opposite. So I do fully know <laughs> that the reason for that is drinking a lot of water and eating good foods and not... Uh, uh, I do notice that uh, cooking fatty foods and all those things will affect your um, skin tone and um, the smoothness of your skin and so forth. And if they're affecting you in those ways, then they're not good for you in much more important ways such as heart health and so forth. So I think that us gauging our body, how it looks, it's not just a vanity thing at all but it is a way for us to gauge our health and i do think that there is something to our society's obsession with thinness um because uh, when we start becoming too overweight that becomes um a danger to our health so it's not necessarily a vanity thing uh, it is more a survival thing that we instinctually understand and for me personally, I know that if I gain too much weight, which of course can happen on any diet, um, my joints don't feel very good. I start getting more inflammation. I feel that it affects my um, um, hips, my spine. Uh, definitely my digestion doesn't feel right. My absorption doesn't feel right. I just feel overall sluggish. It affects my mood or just kind of lightness. Uh, so I, I feel that if given that you don't have any eating disorder you should be okay and not be triggered by if you step on a scale and see a few pounds uh, over to just know that you have to adjust a little bit it's not a big deal it's an easy thing to do it shouldn't be that big scary thing that triggers you into some big big thing now if you're recovering from anorexia and i know a lot of girls are unfortunately in our society then things are completely different for you because you have to adjust from being in to one extreme maybe going a little bit into the opposite way where you accept your body at any weight and you accept any food as okay so that you can eventually come to the middle where a little bit of putting effort and taking care of your body is okay without it being obsessive or um compulsive all right i think uh, that's a good benefit <laughs> um the next one bloating and digestion that's a big one as well i think all the ones that i written wrote down are <laughs> big ones uh bloating and digestion you uh, uh, yeah uh when i switched no vegetarian but vegan and not any vegan but high uh high pla high raw and uh, water content foods lower fat that's when I, my digestion uh, became really good and no bloating so it can be that good flat tummy always makes you kind of feel good we, when we're bloated we kind of feel yucky I, I i know that it's not just a look thing it's a it's a feel thing it's a it's a vitality thing digestion is the um, foundation of our health we need good digestion and some detox and fasting and so forth when you're healing is absolutely necessary in order to get your digestion to where it should be 
most people do have problems with digestion because uh, we have been eating really crappy foods for a really long time. We have been born and some of us have been unfortunately uh, put on soy formula or some crappy baby formula. So there is a lot of healing that a lot of us need to do. Detox, healing and healing the gut. And establishing new bacterial flora because the bacterial flora of a vegan is a completely different bacterial gut flora than the bacterial flora of someone that eats uh, uh, animal products. So for that switch to happen, it takes a while. Give it time. You will love the effects. Next uh, uh, seven is um, hormonal health. Um, Hormonal health, kind of similar to the female issues, but not necessarily exactly the same because that can be adrenals, uh, cortisol, uh, thyroid issues, which is huge nowadays because there's so much radiation and stress and lack of communication. Uh, so um, I do, I did have amazing, profound healing. I, if you haven't seen my healing story, it's on my channel. Go watch it. Um, so that you kind of understand what I'm talking about here, but uh, I had toxic mold exposure, nearly died from it, and I used just a simple vegan diet, as simple as possible, uh, in order to heal, and the effects were amazing. I want to say miraculous, but I'll um, just say amazing, uh, because my hormones went from completely messed up beyond messed up where my uh, nature path uh, looked me in the eye and said if you don't get on hormonal therapy you will die <laughs> and I was so outraged and that was the end of our exchange because um, I figured I'm gonna find another way I'm not going to go on hormonal therapy I believe in the power that is in our body to heal our body is so wise and there is such profound capacity in us to heal and if we ourselves don't take um, the responsibility to heal in our own hands and we keep relying on doctors and healers we are always going to just kind of have an okay state of health you have to you have to own your health you're the one that's going to live in your body no one else will live in your body if they make a mistake with your body you are going to live with that body take responsibility and that's when you're gonna get on a real healing path um, so estrogen progesterone all those things can level off just staying on a good diet allowing your body to heal your body knows it's how to do its work, how to detox, how to heal. Detox is always needed. Um, next one, let's count it right. Eight. Um, eight is joint health. That's a biggie too. Of course, it's a biggie because I am um, extremely athletic. And um, by the way, if you think yoga is for sissies, try my yoga, try interval yoga, and then we'll talk again. Because I teach one of the more or most athletic styles of yoga. And um, I, do f I do know that yoga is a big part of healing our joints healthy and also interval training the way I uh, incorporate it into my yoga. It is a big part of uh, healing the joints and maintaining them strong for the long haul. Uh, but diet is so important because you need to be on an anti-inflammatory diet that is also very nutritious and supporting your joints. and allowing them to be well lubricated, uh, sur the surrounding tissue and muscles to be well uh, formed and functioning. Uh, also, when you are detoxed, your spine will be better uh, realigned. So then you're going to have less issues with uh, pelvic and um, uh, hip misalignment. From there, all the joints will function better. But I know this may uh, come as a shocker to some people, but it's quite obvious that when the, the digestion is not right, the internal organs are not right, they can throw the spine off balance and that can throw the pelvis off of balance, hips off of balance. That's why when people fast, they can actually realign sometimes their spine or, or I should say a lot often and that can realign hips and everything else, joints can heal and so forth. So uh, joint health can go wrong with that one. Um, uh, now uh, I've, um, I think I, I, those are most of the benefits. The other one I will just kind of go over uh, because um, 
here I, I need to mention that when I'm uh, uh, when I'm coming to you with this video about the benefits I have experienced them I wanted it it was my goal to come from experience not from books oftentimes I do uh, turn someone on to veganism a friend and then they start preaching to me what they've read and they become very uh, a good professor in uh, veganism but I want to tell you you know what just be patient uh, give it time the longer you uh, do this diet the more confident you will feel in it and the more <sighs> the more benefit you will experience, the stronger your belief in it will be in it because you're not going to rely on someone else's knowledge about the diet or what you read or what you believe in, but it is going to be something you embody, something that you truly deeply understand. Now, so coming from experience to me, it's extremely important uh, because Oftentimes, people, when they first come to veganism, they become, the first stage is extremely angry, uh, which is okay because you become aware of the unfairness in the world. That is okay. Yes, we live in an unfair world, but at the same time, the deeper you go, the more you understand things and you will not be angry about things because if you want to be motivated and productive and doing stuff in society that are benefiting uh, the whole you have to get past the anger part anger is a good propellant it will propel you forward it is a good spark it gives you fire but you have to get to a better place you, you yourself so preachy preachy and uh, um, angry uh, veganism is just a stage don't get turned off if you see people that are at that stage it's perfectly normal it if you allow it it will shift or you may never go through it but becoming aware of how the our world is it's it's okay we have to have we have to know the truth about things we can't live in a bubble in a rainbow or unicorn bubble that is not how the world operates we have to be okay with the world we have to be okay with our own honesty or knowledge of ourselves and that obviously applies to the entire world also, wow, that's, uh, that's probably the biggest benefit of a vegan diet is the next one. It expanded my mind, it opened up my um, awareness, and it made me a more spiritual person. Now, there's no way of knowing that that contributed to my spirituality. I always thought that becoming vegetarian and vegan really shifted how I was as a person the shift was quite slow as a kid I wouldn't say I was spiritual the only thing as a kid that I would say was pretty interesting was that I was very into the now I wasn't reminiscing too much complaining uh, and so forth about the past and I wasn't too concerned about the future maybe a little bit but I was pretty much very very present and my ego was i was just not too attached as a kid to my ego i wasn't emotional in the sense that i'm a sensitive person but not emotional i don't get hurt about over small things because i don't take things personally so i had that as a kid uh, but i wouldn't say i was spiritual in other ways i was pretty present and pretty um active i was just a very active get it done type of kid i wasn't anything um flowery and very spiritual or anything like that or connected to any divine knowledge or anything like this um, so uh, I was extremely smart as a teenager and uh, my academic mind was very very strong and I feel that when I shifted to a, a vegan diet it took a long time it's not a one year shift it's not even a three year shift but I feel that my intuition opened up something opened up that is almost a more interesting aspect of intelligence and and I'm finding a way to balance them as best as I can nowadays I'm still finding my way through this and balancing intelligence with the intuition but I do feel that it affected me to where I started understanding understanding society the world and us as one feeling that 
connectivity and uh, that feeling of oneness that we all have. We share this planet, we are all one. If there is suffering on this planet, none of us is disconnected from that suffering. And the same goes for Joyce. We're, none of us is just a cell disconnected from the whole. We are all part of the whole and we all contribute to it. So also on that note, it doesn't matter what you do. Some people think, well, nothing matters if I make a small change, what does it matter? It doesn't change the world. No, you are here to change the world. Without me being crazy, you, by you changing yourself and you, by you changing your awareness and your consciousness, you are changing the collective conscious. Now, if you choose to elevate, awaken your consciousness, you will affect the collective conscious, for sure. And... Um, by your actions, you're affecting everything, even on a physical level, because if you think about it, by becoming vegan, you're saving directly the lives of, I haven't looked at statistics, but probably 200 animals or 100 animals a year. It depends on the size of the animal, maybe 50 to 100 animals a year. Those are animals you are directly affecting that are not going to suffer because of, an, of a choice you're making. So everything you do matters. Now, I want to say that I'm not coming from a place of superiority and yes, you have to uh, go vegan. I know from <laughs> bitter and long experience that you have to be ready to become vegan. There is just people that are not ready, not there. It's not going to happen. And you don't need to feel guilty about it. You have to let it go. If it's not something you feel, it's not something that when you learn about it, the way for me when I realized it, it was an overnight shift. There is nothing in the world, in this world that can make me shift back. To me, the realization of uh, not contributing to someone suffering or dying or uh, even me... Uh, if you will, selfishly ingesting their uh, fearful body or fear-infused in, in body because at the moment of death there is so much fear rushing through their body and people ingest that. So that's the selfish aspect of us protecting ourselves. Uh, but uh, basically, if, you're, if you realize that and that can uh, propel you to change overnight, but if you're not there yet, you have to give it time or you have to let it go because I know that you can't force things. You have to feel that thing. It's just that we all are at a different place of uh, our, our path, awareness. So there is, uh, there is no right and wrong as long as you feel your path strongly and you are moving forward. It's all good. Uh, now, another aspect of it is... Um, and I'm very grateful for that aspect. I'm very joyous around my food. One of the perks of my week is going to a farmer's market and looking at what I purchased. It just kind of makes me, I, I feel like a little kid after a farmer's market or at a farmer's market. I'm just overly happy and perky about uh, just simple things such as uh, honey crisp apples are now in season and kabocha squashes. And um, uh, I bought a lot of stuff today. Um, grapes, muscat grapes, uh, which I didn't even know America produces, but they were at my farmer's market. I bought a lot of passion fruit and watermelon and I've been crazy about it. It's my uh, crazy craving now. Watermelon, I'm pregnant and my craving is watermelon with passion fruit. I have to have it. Uh, so um, that is another aspect of it. It just a lot of people, once they realize what it takes to have a, a, a plate of meat on their, uh, um, on their table, they still continue forward with eating it, but there is like a little bit of guilt always associated with what they're doing or a little bit of fear, oh, um, well, maybe it's not that good for me, but oh, well, I don't know, my will is weak. So I don't. I have a very positive connection with food, and I think that's one of the best perks you can get from a diet. It's just something that it's very positive in your life, and something that you know is saving uh, water. It's really saving a lot of water uh, because animals take a lot of uh, water uh, in order to be raised. It's also um, great for the planet. It's uh, contributing. Uh, to your health. Now, the prediction is that two in three people will 
get cancer in their lifetime. It used to be that one in three people may get cancer in their lifetime. Now they came up with a new uh, with new statistics that two in three people or new projection two in three people will get cancer in their lifetime. So I think anybody, everybody wants to be healthy. Sometimes the self-sabotaging mechanism in people may be strong and maybe they need, they push themselves towards suffering, but everybody need, wants health for themselves. So pushing yourself towards a plant-based diet, which is proven to be amazing and also um, not just for you but all around it's amazing also another benefit is that once you adopt a plant-based diet you no longer live for yourself um that's not to say that you were living for yourself before that but at least um, as a dietary thing you start doing things for others you're not necessarily making a choice for yourself but you're making uh, you, you're uh, you're making a choice for something bigger than you and that is uh, the the best way to achieve happiness is when you stop living for yourself. I've been meaning to write on happiness, contemplations on happiness. I've been meaning to write that on my website for a couple of years now, but ultimately it comes down that to uh, that we do need to live for something big, for a bigger cause in order to be happy. We need to be inspired, to be striving forward and to live not just for ourselves. If we live for ourselves, no matter how successful we become, it's just there's gonna be an, an, an element of emptiness to it. So a diet that is so compassionate and I do feel that um, even though I was uh, vegan before I started practicing yoga, I do feel that yoga, uh, one of the aspects of yoga is no harming, so that is off your mat, what you do off of your mat is uh, one of the practices is ahimsa, uh, non-harming. So um, I do feel that that is a very important element of yoga, us uh, adopting a compassion, compassionate lifestyle uh, where we are just not just living for ourselves but we are contributing to uh, others or we are compassionate to others. Also, I think compassion develops through um, a plant-based diet. I do feel more compassionate nowadays than I was as a young kid. I can't, I can't, I, I can't be sure that those two are related, but to me it looks like I did develop compassion. Um, Another amazing benefit is uh, the willpower side of it. Basically, uh, if uh, you know that you can shift in a way that you've, your beliefs are guiding you or your higher truth is guiding you, and you have the willpower to do that without any questions, and if you know that you have the willpower to shift forward and to change something that you truly strongly believe in without feeling weakness or uh, weakness of uh, willpower that will give you so much more uh, confidence in who you are as a person because it will propel you forward in other directions outside of that you will just have more faith in you and more belief in you as a human being because knowing that you have the capacity and the power to just shift and the strength to shift um, when you believe in something and to make such a big uh, change, it will just give you confidence. It will give you confidence as a human being. I think uh, I, I I have a group called Beautiful Yogis uh, and I always start every class with Namaste Beautiful Yogi. So I say that word beauty so much, but to me beauty is literally intelligence, confidence, strength inner strength i've never ever had the connect connection to beauty with it as something super external i do believe we have to take care of ourselves but i do believe that we have to we have to be strong in something deeper than the external because um, there is plenty of very beautiful people models that that don't have the charisma that a person that we perceive as beautiful has. Meaning beauty is not necessarily features uh, and it's not necessarily perfection. I think beauty is fire and beauty is inspiration from the inside, which translates into charisma, into personal charisma. And um, 
when we are on a mission, when we have something to share, we we have that fire. I'm I'm absolutely 100% sure that everybody knows what I'm talking about, just because we uh, innately as human beings we understand beauty. It is something that radiates from the soul, or from the person. <laughs> Someone said they don't believe in the soul, so it radiates from within. Let's say that. I think these are pretty cool benefits. It does. Um, it is great to have mind expansion through diet. I think you can top that. Uh, so those are great benefits from a vegan diet. I started with the more physical and went into a little more spiritual benefits, but I think the spiritual are the really cool benefits of a vegan diet. Um, if you have any questions, if you have some funky or not so funky benefits that you've experienced or something I forgot to mention, share it with me in the comments below. I read all the comments and I try to answer a lot of them. And if I don't answer some of your comments, I still read them and sometimes I try to answer them in the next video. But uh, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you uh, enjoyed it and if you like this type of content, Either give me a thumbs up or uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you with some more videos. Namaste.